Okay, I'm gonna show you how I add and subtract wax when I'm fitting an ocular piece. So this is the impression. I cut off most of the material and I was able to use this, this little piece here. So I have a few copies with different shapes that I'm hoping will fit in and stay in. It's gonna be a little bit tricky to keep it in because the lower lid is so shallow. But we'll try all three and see which one works the best. I'm hoping this one works. This is the, the largest one and it's also the thinnest one. The tissue inside looks pretty soft, so it should conform to the prosthesis itself. So now I'm just using my wax tool to carve away material because I know I want it to be thin down here at the bottom. That'll help it stay in, removing material from the posterior down here. That'll also help it to stay in. This one I've added a bit to the periphery, so it might be a little too big. And you can take it off if, if you need to. Um, but I really just scrape it evenly with my wax tool. Hopefully you have a tool like this accessible. This one's my favorite. It's like a sharp spoon. So, so let's say you need to add material, take your wax stick, I have my flame here, and I'm just going to melt a little bit and add it right where I need it. And it's not going to be polished, it's not going to be smooth yet. Let that cool down. Now I'll take my wax tool and this time I use the back of it. Uh, you can probably just use anything metal, knife or something, but this helps smooth it out, welds it together. So if I'm going to smooth the front surface, I want to be able to put it in and, and have them blink over it without being too rough. Again, I'll take the back of it, and make sure all my surfaces are even and smooth. And I try and move nice and fast over the surface. But I think most likely, most likely you'll be removing material in this case instead of adding material. So I can use my flame also. This, this torch is nice because it's got a little pinpoint. And then the other thing you can do is use a paper towel, just a dry paper towel, and pull it towards the edges. This is a nice way to smooth the edges also. A nice dry paper towel. I can get in there on the inside as well with a corner. And if you use a little bit of eye wash or water, um, even some mineral oil, that might be a nice uh, lubricant to try it in the socket and see how it fits. So most likely you'll just be making it thinner. So you just scrape away material, make it thinner. If it's falling out, looks too open, uh, you can start taking material off from the posterior right along here at the bottom. And good luck. If you have any questions, call me, email. I'm excited to help. I hope it works out for him. So after you like the shape and it's fitting comfortably, 
you need to draw the location of the iris. And I start that by drawing the pupil. Just a little circle like that. Once I have that circle, I'll just follow the outline of my pupil. This is a Sharpie, if you can't see. Put that in, have them stand up, make sure that your gaze is straight with the other eye. And when you get to this point, you can send it back to me and I can make him his eye.